Hi there, this is Jenny from the Sewing Palace in Helena, Montana. Today I'm going to show you a fun project making hot mitts or trivets. This is a great gift for the holidays, a housewarming gift, or just something fun to decorate your kitchen. So we'll get started. First I want to show you a couple of the options for the hot mitt. It is this great little mitt and you line it with quilted fabric and your favorite fabric shows through the silicone outside lining and then you create a trim out of another fabric. So you can really customize to whatever you would like for your kitchen and make it match whatever decor that you have. So that's a really fun um, hot mitt. You can also make a trivet. So on this trivet, there's a fabric underneath that's black and white, and that's what shows through the silicone, and then you can cover it with other fabrics and bind it. Then they also have um, a fun project that is for curling irons. So this is the silicone sleeve for your curling iron or your flat iron, and you put it in there, and then it can go inside here for a travel-ready um, curling iron case. They also have some cute little coasters and several sizes of trivets. Let me first start off by showing you the pattern, and it is from a company called Around the Bobbin. So you can get a pattern set that already has a silicone mitt inside of it, then the directions. Then you can also purchase additional refills so that you can make more of the oven mitts without purchasing it with the pattern again. So you can buy it as a pattern with a silicone mitt and then also the trivets come the same way. The trivets come in various sizes and you'll select the size that's written on the pattern what you want to do. It has the directions for how to do it but then you can buy refills for various sizes so that's really cool. Then the hot stuff travel case again it's from around the bobbin and that comes with the sleeve and the directions and also you can purchase refills. These are all available on our website. The last one that I wanted you to see is there's a great way to make coasters and um, they come with four. So that is all from the company around the bobbin. As far as supplies go, it's pretty basic. You'll need the pattern with one of the silicone inserts, whether you're making the trivet or the pot holder or the mitt, whatever you choose. So you'll need your pattern. Again, that's around the bobbin. You'll also need some fabric and 100% cotton batting. It's pretty fat quarter friendly, so you can go to your fat quarter friendly uh, stash in your sewing room. The wonder clips are perfect for assembly for this project. A sharp 9014 needle, a little bit larger needle, and then a fabric friendly pen. This one is the friction air, uh, iron erase pen. Today I'm going to show you how to make the trivet. It comes in the large and the small size, so we're going to be starting with the large size. And there are modifications in the pattern so that you can also make that, so there's a pocket, so you have a little sleeve in that. You want to pick a fabric that's going to show through the silicone. It does kind of make it frosted, and that will be right side up when we get to that stage. You'll also have some batting and some muslin or some scrap fabric. You'll cut some binding strips and some strips that go around the silicone. So you'll need to follow the pattern directions for getting all those pieces cut, and then I'm going to show you the first step in preparing your silicone. Right here I have the pieces that are prepared for the silicone and this is the small size trivet. So I have my favorite fabric that is going to shine through and then I'm going to lay my silicone trivet over top of the fabric and the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take your side binding strips and these directions for cuts are in the pattern and you're going to envelope that and sew it. So you're going to do the two short sides. So I'm going to clip here and then I'm going to do the opposite side. What I wanted to point out here is when you put on your binding strips or your little side strips, they are going right sides down and the wrong side is facing out. You're going to stitch down the two short sides and then flip them so that they're pretty sides out and then you'll put on your longer pieces to get the other sides. So when you're all finished, this is the large size, this is what you will have yielded. So you'll, your fabric is laying right side up so you can see it through the trivet and then you'll apply your side strips following the directions. Wonder clips work great for this. You'll also be sewing through the silicone, so you want your nice sharp needle, and you can use a zipper foot to help you do this. 
Once this piece is complete, you'll press the fabric so that they're laying right sides out. So you'll be looking at the wrong side here. The right side will be shining through your mitt or your trivet. And then we're gonna get ready to apply the other insulating layer. So that will be your cotton fabric and some cotton batting and then a piece of muslin fabric that's 100% cotton. You will layer those pieces and then quilt it. So this one is pre-marked with a, a fabric friendly pen and you'll quilt some designs onto that. Once that is quilted, the actual piece that is the pretty piece is gonna face out because this will lay right side down like so. When you're finished with that stage, you'll clip it all together and then you will get your binding prepared and apply binding just like you would apply quilt binding to the edge of a quilt. Next, let's look at the hot stuff oven mitt. So when the mitt's all finished, it will be fully lined on the inside and your favorite fabric will be showing through the outside silicone and then the last seam will be applying binding to this top edge. So that is how the process goes. This one, the binding is actually not quite finished yet. So that would get wrapped over and you would stitch that down. So to get started, you'll obviously need your fabric and you'll need your patterns. So there are two uh, different patterns in the mitt. There is a lining and then there is the decorative insert. So there are two sizes and a good thing to do for this is to actually make a template. We have template plastic here at the store that's heavy and thick so that's perfect for this. It also gives you the turning point. Then you can also make a template for the exterior lower band so that you have a backup. So you'll need to cut those pieces out two of each um, so that you'll make the lining and that will also be quilted so I'll show you a quick way that I got that ready and then you'll do two of the pretty fabric that is the decorative insert and then two cuffs. Here I have two pieces that are my lining insert that's going to be quilted. So I have them laid onto a cotton batting and then on the reverse side I just have a piece of muslin. So I've got this all ready to quilt and then I'll quilt some lines into this design either cross hatching uh, whatever you want and then I will cut this out so I will have two quilted pieces. That mirror image uh, you want to make sure you have two mirror images so you see I have that uh, with the thumbs facing in. Once you have those all quilted, you'll cut them out and then you will sew them together so that the lining fabric is on the inside and this is what will go inside the mitt. So this is where you will yield your inner piece. Talk about the decorative insert. So that is going to be one piece that lays right sides together and you sew around it coming to the point that is marked on the pattern and it is just one of each and you'll want them mirror imaged. When you're done sewing that, so that's what I have, these two pieces here, they're laying right sides together. This is the decorative insert, I'll sew around it. The other thing you'll want is two cuffs. So I've got two cuffs, and then there is directions for cutting the final binding. Once you have those together, you'll turn this right side out, clip the corners, and turn it right side out because this is the decorative insert piece and press it and then that piece will go inside your glove. So you'll situate that down inside the glove and that's what's going to show through. You will take your two cuff pieces and you will lay them right sides together and you'll sew on each short end so that you have a tube. That tube is then inserted so that the right sides touch and it goes around the silicone. I'll get a zoom in on this so that you can see this a little bit better. Here we are with the oven mitt. The decorative fabric is inserted so that it's right side out and showing through the silicone and it's tucked up into the mitt, the silicone mitt. Then this is our cuff and it is sewn into a tube and then that will go right side in and then that will touch the silicone because the right side of the fabric actually is the silicone. So you're going to slide that down until those edges meet and you will create a hem along here. So you'll stitch through all of those layers. This is when those wonder clips are super helpful 
and that needle that's a little bit larger is important. So you want to make sure you have all the layers clipped. Whoops, I clipped the wrong. You're going to be sewing it into a tube like so. So you'll go around that. Then when you're finished with that, we'll get our two pieces and put them together. Your next step is then taking the pre-quilted pieces that were made for the lining and they'll still be wrong side out so your seam will be on the outside. You'll tuck your hand into that and then you'll carefully slide it all the way into the glove so that you line up the top edges and the last edge will be finished with binding. As you can see with this glove here, it's all inserted, that last edge has been sewn, and the final step is sewing the binding just like you would apply quilt binding. Your lining is on the inside of your project and it's all quilted, and then right along this last edge you'll be sewing the binding, and that's going to finish all the layers, wrap over the edge, and ta-da, you'll have a finished oven mitt. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the hot stuff oven mitt in various ways to customize your kitchen or a holiday gift. Or you could also make a trivet, which is in the large or the size. Again, this company is around the bobbin. We have all the supplies at the store, and you can check out our website, thesewingpalacebernina.com. We wish you a safe and happy sewing holiday season. Thanks. Bye-bye.